Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we're going to go over uh, just a few dank memes from the dank memes from Site19 subreddit. I did say in the last video that when I talked about, or when I did this one, I would at least talk a little bit about when there's been a delay. See, for a period of time this month, most of Reddit, or at least most of the important parts of Reddit, uh, went dark as a protest against some API changes uh, that Redditors in Reddit is instituting. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like that protest went anywhere, and in fact, Reddit decided they were going to try and force the subreddits back open by changing the moderators out if they didn't comply, uh, which leaves me very questionable as to whether or not I think Reddit is <laughs> it's worth doing videos about going forward, but uh, we're going to do this one at the very least, and then I'm going to give some consideration to the idea that perhaps Reddit is a... Uh... Perhaps Reddit is a dead platform. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'm probably going to do more of these. As long as they're still making memes over there, I feel like it's respectful. So the first meme is by Zeal. I find you all disgust. I get it already. Shut up. And thus, the hard-to-destroy reptile was finally defeated. It may only be emotional damage, but it's damage. It worked. It helped. Maybe. Question mark. I do love the idea of uh, SCP-682 being <laughs> being defeated through emotional damage. <laughs> the only one who's allowed to kill 682 is 682. You heard my feelings. I'm going to jump into the sun now. Uh, let's see, what's next? Uh, shoulder. This is a shoulder meme. Uh, try to rewrite this content. It seems you have already rated this content and your current rating is plus one. You cannot rewrite it with the same value. This is literally 1984. No, um, th this is the funny part is like, usually when I see try to rewrite this content, it's because it's negative one. <laughs> so <laughs> I do see that sometimes. Um, it would be interesting. Um, Change your mind and your vote, or cancel your vote. Oh, <laughs> uh, I I've always found it particularly interesting because, like, anytime someone's like, "Read this article," and I want to demonstrate just how much I dislike it, I'll just re I'll just post. It seems you've already rated this content, and your current rating is minus one. Or, or I'm sorry, I, I the whole thing. Trying to re-rate this content. <laughs> You cannot re-rate it with the same value. Just to point out that I would downvote it again if I possibly could. Um, yeah, no, I, I like I like this. This is funny. This is something that happens to me quite a lot, actually. I got a Master Ball from the Pokemon Dimension. I figured you might find it useful. Thank you. I have no idea what it, which SCP to use it on. I, I don't know. I feel like that's a... It depends on the universe, I guess. Oh, and this is a, a meme by Dim and Bright. Uh, but yeah, it depends on the universe, I guess. The easy answer that most people probably think of is 682, but 682 is not existentially threatening to the world. Um, but a Pokeball is not going to work on, like, literally anything, even if it is a Master Ball. What I mean is it, it's got to work on some sort of a creature that's a problem. So maybe the Scarlet King or the Broken God... Uh, something, something godlike in power, but it, which can still be captured by, uh, <laughs> captured by a Pokeball? Uh, that's a good question. Actually, that's a, here, let's do this. In the comments down below, tell me which, which, uh, SCP you think should be captured by a Pokeball. And, uh, if you, you select something that's not world ending, I'm going to judge you, I promise. Every other site, Site-19. I don't know that this is necessarily true, dude with hat who made this meme. Um, site-19 does get a lot of attention, but so does Site-17, so does Site-88, so does Site... F f what's the... Site-43, that's the one I'm thinking of. I almost said Site-42, which is Sherm's uh, thing, but that doesn't really show up as much as Site-43 does. I mean, there are plenty of sites that get plenty of attention in the SCP uh, wiki. It's just that Site-19 does. I'm sh You're not wrong. Site-19 gets an outsized amount of influence. But the, that's because a lot of people really, their version of the SCP Foundation is one where uh, there's just one site, maybe a couple of other tertiary sites like Site-17 or Site-88, and that's literally it. Like, <laughs> there is, and those other sites are much more minor in comparison. Eh, I don't know if that's a bad thing. It depends on the person. I swear it's like our entire universe is a work of fan fiction. 05, black box. I mean, 
this by uh, meme is by fanboy x twenty seven. I you know I picked this out mostly from the fact that I've I've know I've seen this before, but the, <laughs> the, given the complete lack of emotion uh, that the actress portrays here um, in the actual scene, which I remember from uh, well not childhood from my teenage years. Uh, it, it's funny to see this used as a reaction meme because it's literally like sort of a non-reaction reaction. <laughs> but <laughs> but that's none of my business, Zips T. This meme was created by Fledbeast578. Our blessed foundation, our unique SCP, our detailed lore, our tasteful jokes, our respectful youth. Their childish backrooms, their needless monsters, their needless explanations, their immature humor, their annoying 12 year olds. This is by Fledbeast578. You know, I'm not anti backrooms. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I'm not, I, I'm sure this is meant in jest. I think. Um, because honest to God, the SCP Foundation had exactly the same problems when it was young, and the backrooms are young, even if they are uh, getting more and more popular as time goes by. Um, so it's like, Come on, like, and and our respectful youth. Yeah, okay. <laughs> our tasteful jokes, they're immature. This has got to be in jest, right? Like, you can't possibly legitimately think that the SCP Foundation and the Backrooms compare this way. Because, like, almost everything <laughs> that's listed here is exactly the same on both sides. I think that's the point, right? Yeah, looking at the image, like, how everything is exactly the same on both sides. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be. Someone in the comments tell me if I'm taking this seriously when I should when I, when I should be looking at it as satire. Maja the Oracle. I, need, I help anomalous animals. That's Wilson's Wildlife Solutions. Could you help milk my clowns? Herman Fuller's Circus of the Disquieting. W what? Clowns are livestock animals. What? <laughs> Uh, I've seen a lot of versions of this meme using these birds. Uh, this is one of the first ones that really legitimately gave me a chuckle. Because uh, uh, this is a little weird. Not going to lie, it is actually a little weird. Uh, I love the... And plus, clowns are, clowns are livestock animals, but also in a lot of Herman Fuller stories, they're also not. They're also, like, people that can be milked. It's super weird stuff. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell after that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And there are two options you have for supporting the channel. You can head on over to Patreon, like everybody here on the screen already has, and pledge at any level. Um, that uh, I'd like to specifically thank Sinjariki for pledging at $100. There's also the possibility that you can scroll down into the... Uh, just below the video, and join on YouTube. I have memberships open. I've had memberships open for quite a little while now, um, but I haven't really advertised them as an extant thing. If you'd like to join as a, as a member on the channel, you can. I don't have a lot of rewards yet, so it's really just a matter of supporting me to get the, uh, to get the content out faster, perhaps, but I would very much appreciate it if you did. I'll definitely start uh, look depending on the amounts, definitely start looking at giving shout-outs. That's it. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Tuesday, I hope. <laughs>